Welcome to the Griggle Guys. Today, we are going to answer one of the most asked questions of the past six months. How did Jeff lose weight? We're gonna give some tips, some tricks, and uh, make a couple videos out of it. Today, tip one, turkey. So, tip number one is to always have healthy protein on hand because not only does protein fill you up, it's good for you, and with turkey, it's cheap. So this is kind of what I settled on for my favorite go-to. You can typically get turkey for 99 cents a pound on sale. Oh, really? The frozen ones? Yeah, the frozen ones. And then you just put it in your fridge. So I usually do this like a week behind where I go shopping on Sundays, I buy a turkey on Sunday, put it in the fridge, and then I'll do this the next Sunday. Four or five days to thaw, oh, yeah, six, six days, and uh, you're good to go. But that being said, I'm gonna butcher this, show you it's very similar to a chicken. With all of the leftover, the carcass, I'm gonna make a broth, best broth you'll ever have, turkey broth. So with the carcass, I'm gonna throw that in a pot. Very, very basic ingredients, and this really is the best broth um, to make soups. And big thing with soups and diets, as you go down this path where if you get canned soup pre-made, even if you get the pre-made uh, broth, it's super salty and yeah, causes you to retain salty. water. Yeah. And it's just not as good for you. I mean, this, you know what's going in there, very simple. So uh, this is technically a diet broth in a sense, not from a fat perspective, but from a sodium perspective. Yeah, and we'll get into down the road, uh, intermittent fasting and different techniques and stuff that people use, but having a little bit of broth just to sip on is good. But anyways, we're gonna get to butchering this. I'm not gonna save the wings, but I am gonna butcher the breast, the thighs, and the, the legs. We'll stop talking about it and do it. Bring right. it down, get it on. We'll get to it. All right, so this was a previously frozen turkey in the freezer section. Pretty much take it out of the package. Comes like this. I find that when I break it down this way, we got the neck, goes right into the pot. When I break it down this way, I end up getting about 40 to 50% hmm? yield. Yield, yeah. So it's something that that's pretty good. So 99 cents, even if I'm at, you know, 250 a pound and you have this really good protein and you saved all the money. Oh, we got the gizzards here. Bag broke apart. Even if you're up to three bucks a pound, it's just better. And uh, it's clean protein for a lot less than you're gonna pay for. Yeah. Pretty and much I, anything else that's already butchered for you. I feel like uh, I feel like the price of broth has gotten out of control. The price of everything's out of control. It's right? like, you know, you end up spending eight bucks, seven bucks for three things of broth or two things of broth. So I can honestly say at least three times I have roasted a turkey and found the packet of gizzards after it was cooked. Because <laughs> sometimes they put on the, the larger turkeys, they put some in there, and then under this flap in the front, there's like another little packet. Yeah. Have you run into that? Yes. And so I get one out, and I start carving it, and I'm like, oh, look, there's another pack in there. Place around that, find the joint right there, through, whole thing in the pot. Sharp knife is key. Sharp knife is key, right in the pot. So now we're going to, just gonna take the thigh off, make a slice right there. That breaks. Just like a chicken, right? You just kind of slice the skin, watch your fingers, and this just breaks off. All right, so we got two thighs. We got two legs. For this, we're just gonna take the skin off while it's on there. Behind so this, does the skin go in the stock pot, or? I'm gonna put everything that we're not using in the stock pot. Okay. Because it's only gonna add to the flavor. After uh, I cook the stock, I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight, and then you'll see Defat I'll do a clip, yeah. All the fat flows to the top. So much easier than trying to skim it off. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, slice it right down the middle. And then you can kind of pull it down a little bit as you go. Peel and slice, peel and slice. slice. One breast. The second one's always harder because it's not balanced second anymore. one's always hard. So, we got two thighs. Two turkey breasts and a carcass. And two drumsticks. Two drumsticks. These little nuggets right here. I the oysters. The oysters. That's part of the bird. Yeah. It's right in front of the thighs. The one advantage to being tasked with carving the turkey is you get to eat the oysters. Yeah. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit 
and then we'll uh, we'll show you an easy way to, or Nate maybe will show you an easy way to uh, debone the thighs. <laughs> He's a master at Oh, the thighs. I the thought thighs. he had the drumsticks. The drumsticks, nope. there's no easy way. No. So with the carcass, obviously you need a really big pot or you can slice right into it like this. And you can split it in half. Take off the plastic here. So cut that in half, put that in there. Now this, definitely some turkey still on there, but that's okay because I picked that apart and that's kind of part of the fun too, after the fact but uh, we'll get into that after. So yeah, the big thing being is that, you know, having something that's convenient to eat. Nate, can I get some, uh, I like using Montreal steak or seasoned salt. This is a nice coarse grind. Heavy, heavy, medium heavy. Yeah, that's pretty good. The so, Montreal steak? Yeah. It's great on burgers, steak, chicken, everything. Make the broth, and then I put the turkey breast and the leftover turkey into the Ziploc. And then it goes right into the sous vide, which I got going behind me. Two hours, and that's it. What's Done. up? What's up? 154. It's actually what I do my chicken on. Yeah, it's perfect. You, you actually put me onto that. Uh huh. All right. So, next up, the thighs. Next up, thighs. Pull the skin off. Same thing. Like a. Didn't I say that you were gonna do this? You did, but you're already dirty. You might as well just right. finish it up. So you get the skin. So you're gonna debone these in the pot. Debone it because this is gonna be snacking too. So you flip it over, you get the bone, you kind of run the blade along each side of the bone. But I mean, technically, if you wanted to, you could sous vide those as is and then debone them after yeah, too, the right? Bone yes. Yeah. The broth I'm going to have on the stove for like four hours. Yeah. Oh, so you want the bone and the broth? Yeah. So I do I this. Get you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go grocery shopping on Sunday. When I get home, I do all my prep for the week. So you just kind of scraping down the bone until you get to the bottom. So I do all my grocery shopping Sunday morning. Hey Jeff, do you do your grocery shopping on Sunday morning? Yeah, sometimes Sunday morning. <laughs> but, uh, and then after I get home, I do all my prep for the week, like most people. But you can do this. You get a relatively clean. Nate, don't get mad at me, but I do. I was gonna say, here he goes, you're gonna oh, get naughty with trimming uh, everything out now. now. Just a little bit. We'll see you guys it's in 45 for minutes. The broth. It's for the broth. I'll drop that in a bag too. That's actually I can salt that too, Nate, if you want. It's going in a little ziplock, huh? Zip quicker, by the way. Fantastic these bags. These things are awesome. Yeah. So these are a bit of a pain, right, Nate? Oh, yeah. You know, I like the country fairs where they have the giant, looks like an ostrich leg, but it's a giant turkey leg. You ever buy one of them? Yes. And you get like four bites into it and you realize that every single bite is going to have a big, big pin bone in it. That's exactly what you deal with here. So this is a relatively small turkey. These aren't going to be as hard as they would be on a Bigger yeah. turkey. You actually go through and take each one of them out. Well, you don't really have too much of a choice, right? I'm so impressed with your patience. Just run the knife under and you can kind of pick each one of them out. Doesn't leave you with much in the end, but it is still a lot of flavor. We're just cleaning up right now from butchering the turkey. Nice and easy. So you can bake this, you can put it on the griddle, you can put it on the grill, but not much easier than this. 154, two hours. A little submersion method here. Get the air out of the bag. Get that. We got our dark meat. No. Ultimate. Set it and forget it. Right there. And then now I have supper for the entire week. How many hours, Jeff? Two hours. Two hours. Two to three. That's the benefit. Sous vide, you can't mess it up. Yeah, can't overcook it. Uh, I, I messed <laughs> it up. But anyways, after that's done, this is what you end up with. I take it out, I chop it up, put it in here, and that's it. All week, clean, healthy protein. So that's, that's that, that's supper for the week, you know, as far as our lunches or snacks. How long have you been doing that for your diet? I've been doing that for only six to seven months. <laughs> Not every week, but I, I switch it up with turkey, uh, chicken, same process. Be uh, honest, whatever's more cheaper at the time. Whatever's cheaper at the time. <laughs> steak, I never realized how many calories steak has. Right. 
it's crazy. Unless you're buying the filet mignon. Once I get, uh, once in a while I get steak. But anyways, um, so we're just gonna put this together real quick and get that on the stove. Jeff, put this to work. Finally got these guys working for chicken stock, turkey stock. This is my go-to, really simple. If you don't have all of these ingredients, you can certainly mix it up. Yeah, it's stock, right? Anything, yeah. anything left goes in. But we got celery, we got mushrooms, we got some garlic that uh, Nate and Chris are gonna crush. Salt and pepper. The whole point of this is to keep it light on the salt. Mm -hmm. And none of this has to be finely cut. This is gonna be uh, boiling or simmering for- uh, Two to eight hours. Two to eight hours. Your choice. Can't go wrong with that. The longer it's, Hello. Longer it simmers, better it's gonna be. <laughs> Do we got any room for water? No, that's why I said yeah, I was thinking the bigger pot. Might need a bigger boat. Any reference? No. Anybody Might need that? a bigger boat. Yeah. What movie? What movie? Don't know. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Pirates of the Caribbean? No. No. What's the Caddy uh, Shack? The Outsiders. The uh, Las Vegas. When he's a cocaine dealer. Oh, um, and he was making so much money. He walks into the room and it's full of cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the name of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. White something. White Some, something and. Uh, yeah, anyway. yeah, good movie though. Yeah. The hard part is over. Especially for you guys, because you yeah. guys get to just jet. Cutting up that onion was tough. <laughs> yeah. I chilled myself with the celery. I broke a sweat. I do have this just coming up to a boil, so I'm going to turn that down now. This is gonna shrink down a little bit too as it uh, simmers. So there'll be more room in the pot. And what you wanna do is just keep an eye on this over the next couple hours and keep adding water to it. So every time the water comes off, add a little bit more water. That will take care of itself. I don't add any salt as I'm simmering it. Salt at the end after you're done? Or just salt tomorrow? at the end of flavor, you know, as far as minimal. They're gonna head out. I'll get back to you guys after the credits. With skimming this or straining, skimming. So what do you do? So when that's done, you put it through a strainer to get everything out? Yeah, I'm just going to run it through a strainer and... Uh, everything goes, that's in the strainer, goes in the trash. You don't keep anything. That's it. Sometimes I'll pick apart. You'll pick the meat off the yeah, carcass. Some, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do the same thing. Just because. And then, so I have a defatter, but you don't use a defatter. You let it congeal and then scrape. Yes. And the difference between this and what you get in that uh, container of pre-made broth is that this will be... The whole thing will be like jelly. Gelatinous, yeah. Gelatinous yeah, from like the jello. bones and from the, yeah. yeah, so good. So very hearty, very. Very hearty, and you'll see that the fat just goes to the top. It's a nice layer, you scrape it off. And as far as your dieting goes, what are the rules on eating or drinking that broth while you're dieting? Keep it to a minimum as far as because of salt, but there's really no- How much salt do you put in? Like two tablespoons or a teaspoon? Yeah, so there can't be that much in there. Not that much, yeah. Cause you see, you keep mentioning it, but I don't know. Well, because you know. salt is your enemy when you diet it, for the most, for me. For me, I, I never felt So that bag of Lay's I killed last night on the coach, it wasn't the mm. chips that were bad, it was the salt? Not <laughs> ideal, not <laughs> ideal. <laughs> if you made it this far, we appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll stay tuned for more Jeff videos. He's gonna do a couple series, yeah. have a couple, his ideas for, all over the place on this one today. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, it's the lack of calories. The you lack of calories. But uh, hit me up with questions, you know, comments, anything, and we'll uh, we'll try and address them all. And the next video is going to be more diet tips and tricks. Yeah. yeah. Stay all tuned. Right. All right. Cool. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Guys. Cheers. All right, guys. So Nate and Chris, they've gone home. Broth. About two hours in, you can see some water's evaporated. I'm just going to keep adding to that. Keeping that topped off, it's gonna keep reducing. All right guys, so, pack this a little tight in here. Water protein. So I added an extra hour. I went three hours on this, just to be safe. And it's looking good. So this is just going right in the fridge. Smells good. Just added some water. Put that going on there. Got one more hour on that. We'll give that four hours. All right. It's been about four plus hours. 
It's just after 10.30 at night. And we're gonna put this right into the pot. That right there is the stuff. So I'm gonna put this uh, right into the fridge, let it sit overnight, and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. It is the next day. All right, this is all set. It's cooled off. Let's put this over here. And what we're gonna do right now is we are just going to skim off the fat that's congealed to the top. Now I only had four hours, three and a half hours uh, that I was able to, that's a sign of a good broth right there. And it's got a little bit of jiggle to it. I was only able to do this for about three hours uh, to four hours last night. The longer you uh, simmer it, the better this is gonna be, but this came out awesome. So I'll show you how I skim off the top. I'm gonna portion this out, throw it in the freezer, and I have individual portions, and that way I can just take a bag out, warm it up in a uh, bowl, and I get a nice little healthy snack. Appreciate you guys hanging with us. Uh, sorry for the audio issues. It ends up that uh, for the entire time Nate and Chris were here, the audio mixer wasn't plugged into the camera. There's always gonna be something. This is a battle making these videos, but we love doing it. We love you guys and we appreciate it. And uh, as I sign out here, I'm gonna show you the uh, scale of how much chicken, uh, sorry, turkey yield we got with our turkey. But anyways, thanks again, guys. Cheers, have a good one. So much easier than doing this while it's hot. Just all sits to the top, and that's it. We'll get to portioning this out. And as you can see, this is a lot of broth and I didn't add any salt to it at all. I didn't even put a little bit in. I figured that as I'm using it, cooking with it, I can add some salt, even without any salt. This was really killer as far as the, the depth of flavor. But you can see, good amount of fat because we had the skin in there and we had everything adding flavor, but now we'll take all the unhealthy out and that's it. So that is a just under 12 pound turkey, and I got just over four pounds of yield. Not bad, not bad. So 35% or so, 30%. But uh, now we have all of that protein ready for the week. Nice and healthy. Cheers, guys.